really glad that you could join me today. Later this week, I'm going to be playing some games with some friends of mine that will help you to learn how to see things better in when you're out in the woods. But today, I'm going to show you a few really simple skills that will help you right away if you practice them. The games that we're going to play later this week will help you practice those skills, but I want to show you what we're aiming for first. They're called Deer Ears, Owl Eyes, and Fox Walk. First, I'm going to show you how to do deer ears. Are you ready? Okay. Have you ever seen a deer or maybe a cat or a dog when they hear something? They don't turn their whole head the way we might. They move their ears. And you can practice that using your hands as part of your, as an extension of your ears. All you have to do is cup your hands and yes, I have an owie on my finger. You cup your hands and you put them behind your ears to make great big deer ears. Go ahead, try it. No deer ears? Yes, deer ears. No deer ears? Yes, deer ears. Deer ear only on the left. Deer ear only on the right. Did it change your hearing? What if you put your deer ears backwards? Now forward. Now backwards. Isn't that amazing? Forward. I can hear the birds in front of me. Backward. I can hear the creek behind me. That's incredible. Did you know that you can also learn to wiggle your own ears and that that can help you hear better too? You can. Watch. Here's what you want to do. Go to the mirror, any mirror, and try and hear something really far away and really soft and watch your ears and feel what they, what your head does. Those are the muscles you need to perk up your ears and they can actually help you hear better. Ready? <laughs> I will tell you, it's really hard to do it when you're laughing. It's almost impossible. It is a lot of fun though to try and I totally recommend that you try it. All right, the next skill we're going to try is owl eyes. First, you're going to train yourself to be able to see as far around as you can. Now an owl has really big eyes because they have to see in the nighttime, but they can also turn their heads pretty far this way or that way, way farther than we can. But I can tell you that if you turn yourself around to try to see everything, for one thing you're going to get dizzy. For another thing, you're going to scare the animals away because you're going to move too fast. So you want to train your eyes to be able to see out farther. And the way you do that is you put your fingers out in front of you like this and you wiggle them. And you keep wiggling them and you keep looking straight forward and you keep wiggling your fingers. And when you get to the point where you kind of can still see your fingers wiggling but they're really far out there and you almost can't see them try and keep your vision like that now try walking around with your vision out like that it's going to be a little bit blurry up front and you're going to look a little bit like your eyes are sort of wild because they are because you're not focusing them on anything in particular you're just trying to see out as much as you can around you. And when you do that and you practice it, what you'll find is you'll see the rabbit that's down there on the ground over there. Or you'll see all of the little birds that are up in the trees that you used to just completely miss because you weren't using your owl eyes. Now the third skill that I'm going to show you is fox walk. For that one, I'm going to have to have you focus on my feet. 
So I'm going to put my camera near the ground. When you go out to the woods, you go out to see animals. But how do you both look around and listen and avoid stepping on twigs that will snap and crackle under your feet and make the animals run away? Well, you do something called fox walk. Now, if you just walk around in the woods like that, you're gonna make a loud crackling sound with your feet. So to do, to, in order to avoid that, you practice fox walk. We like to take our kids out and practice in gravel. And I'll show you a video of that after this. Now with fox walk, I've seen it taught two different ways. I've seen it where you start with the toe of your foot and you very carefully roll your toe back until you're all the way on the weight of your foot. And that way, and I've seen it the other way, where you go with your heel of your foot and you roll your foot forward. Either way, the important part with either way of doing it is the roll. The roll is important because you're not putting your entire weight on the foot that you're setting down and because you can feel if there's a stick or something that you are about to break and make a crackly sound. So you're walking very softly. I'll show you. That was with heel to toe. Now I'll go toe to heel. Now if I'm just walking normally, you can hear the grass under my feet. The other thing with either one of these is that you want to walk fairly close together with your feet. You want them not spread apart like this and not in front of each other because you'll trip yourself but just like that. And that's how you do a fox walk. Here are 10 kids practicing the fox walk in gravel. These kids are playing a game called Fire Keeper. They are using Fox Walk to try to sneak away with this noisy bag without the blindfolded keeper hearing them. As you're heading out into the woods and into the parks, I wanted to mention a few basic rules. Take only pictures, leave only footprints, stay on the trails. Those are the most important ones. Take only pictures means don't pick the flowers, don't pick the berries, unless you're in a private place and you have been given permission to do so. If somebody else picked a flower before you got there, you wouldn't be able to see it. And same for if you pick a flower, then the next person won't be able to see it. If you pick all of the berries in a park, then the animals that live in the park won't have anything to eat and you don't ever feed wild animals. Not only is it dangerous, it's bad for them. Leave only footprints means don't leave your trash around. 
even if it's just a banana peel or an orange peel or a tissue. Take it with you. Don't leave it laying around. It doesn't break down and the next person behind you doesn't want to see it and animals might eat it and that would be really, really bad for them. Stay on the trail. Don't go cutting down an embankment because it's a shortcut. If you do that, you will ruin the trails for everyone. The next flood season, the water will just run right down that place that you cut through and ruin the trail for the next year and the park will have to close that trail. So stay on the trails. All right, that's enough of that. I hope you have a good time in the woods. I hope you will use your fox ears and, whoa, deer ears, <laughs> fox walk and owl eyes. All right, now get outside and play. Thank you for watching this episode of Play, Adventure, Learn from Outdoor Education Adventures. Outdoor Education Adventures is a nonprofit outdoor science program based in Yamhill County, Oregon. If you enjoy our programs, please support us by following and liking us on your favorite social media outlet. To discover all of the programs we offer, please visit our website at OutdoorEdAdventures.com. OutdoorEdAdventures.com. While you're there, we hope you'll consider making a small donation. Most of our funding comes from supporters like you, so please show us your appreciation of the work we do by making a donation today. Thank you.